Unlike other channels that just skim the surface, this one's different because I'm about to explain exactly how breast cancer forms, why it targets women over 40, and what you can do today to prevent it. Here's the truth. One in eight American women will develop invasive breast cancer in her lifetime, American Cancer Society 2024. But what most people don't realize is that the seeds of breast cancer often begin forming decades before diagnosis. I believe that once you understand what's happening inside your body, from your hormones to your cells, you gain power. Power to catch changes early, power to lower your risk, and power to live with confidence. Science-backed explanations they can act on. So let's break it down. How breast cancer actually forms, why your 40s are a crucial turning point, and the practical steps you can take right now to protect your health. <clears throat> and just a heads up, I've pinned another video in the comments that shows the five early signs of breast cancer you should never ignore. So make sure you check that out after this one. Now, let's start with what's happening inside your body at the cellular level. Section one, how breast cancer forms, the cellular story. So what is breast cancer really? At its core, it's your body's own cells growing out of control. Specifically, breast cancer starts when certain cells in the breast, often those lining the milk ducts or lobules, undergo genetic mutations that cause them to multiply when they shouldn't. Normally, your body's DNA has built-in spell checkers that catch these errors. Think of them as cellular editors. But with age, stress, toxins, and hormonal shifts, those editors can get sloppy. According to the National Cancer Institute 2024, over 90% of breast cancers occur because of acquired, not inherited, mutations that build up over time. That's why it's no surprise that age is the biggest risk factor, not genetics. In my experience, many women over 40 still think breast cancer runs in the family. But here's the truth. Only about 5-10% to of cases are due to inherited mutations like BRCA1 or BRCA2. The rest? They're linked to lifestyle, hormones, and time. So if you've ever felt powerless, like your genes determine your fate, let me reassure you, they don't. You have influence. But here's where it gets interesting. Your estrogen levels, especially around perimenopause and menopause, play a huge role in how these cells behave. Let's unpack that. Section two, why estrogen matters so much after 40. Estrogen isn't the villain, it's essential. It keeps your bones strong, your heart healthy, and your skin youthful. But, and this is important, when estrogen levels become unbalanced or unopposed, especially with too much estrogen relative to progesterone, it can fuel certain breast cancer cells. Think of estrogen like fertilizer. Your body needs it for growth, but too much at the wrong time can make unwanted cells thrive. According to a 2023 NIH study, women using combined estrogen-progestin hormone therapy for more than five years had a 24% increased risk of developing breast cancer compared to non-users. Now, that doesn't mean HRT is bad. It means it must be personalized, monitored, and balanced. I've seen many women over 40 assume HRT equals risk and skip it entirely, but that's not the full story. If managed properly, with the right type, dose, and duration, HRT can be safe and even beneficial. But if it's taken without proper testing or combined with unhealthy habits like smoking or heavy drinking, that risk multiplies. So the key is context. Know your hormone levels, talk to a provider who specializes in women's midlife care, and never self-prescribe based on social media trends. Section 3. The Aging Factor what happens to your cells after 40? Let's talk about the role of aging, because after 40, your body's internal repair systems start to slow down. Your cells naturally accumulate damage from oxidative stress, from processed foods, pollution, and stress, inflammation, from lack of sleep, chronic stress, or poor diet, and hormonal fluctuations, especially during perimenopause. Over time, these create the perfect storm, slower DNA repair, sluggish immune surveillance, and more opportunities for mutations to stick. According to the CDC, nearly 80% of breast cancer cases occur in women over 50, which means what happens in your 40s sets the stage. Here's what I've found works best for women in their 40s. Prioritize antioxidants, berries, 
greens, and cruciferous vegetables. Keep inflammation low. Move your body daily, reduce sugar, sleep well. And most importantly, know your baseline. Get your mammograms, ultrasounds, or MRIs as recommended. This decade isn't just about surviving menopause. It's about fortifying your foundation. Section 4. Inflammation, Insulin, and the Silent Drivers of Risk Now let's talk about two sneaky culprits that don't get enough attention. Chronic inflammation and insulin resistance. According to a Harvard Health 2023 review, women with metabolic syndrome, meaning high blood sugar, abdominal fat, and high blood pressure, had a 20 to 30% higher risk of developing breast cancer. Here's why. High insulin levels tell your cells to grow, and unfortunately, cancer cells listen too. Add inflammation to the mix, from stress, poor diet, or even loneliness, and it's like lighting a match next to dry wood. I believe every woman over 40 should treat her metabolic health like a priority, not an afterthought. This means stabilizing blood sugar with high-protein meals, managing stress through movement or mindfulness, and reducing hidden inflammation, especially from ultra-processed foods. In my experience, when women clean up their diet and balance their insulin, not only does their cancer risk drop, but energy, mood, and sleep improve too. So prevention isn't just about screening, it's about strengthening. Section five, toxins, alcohol, and environmental triggers. Let's address something uncomfortable, toxins and alcohol. We live in a world filled with synthetic chemicals, plastics, parabens, pesticides. Many of these act as xenoestrogens, fake estrogens that mimic your natural hormones and can trigger unwanted cell growth. According to the Environmental Working Group, the average American woman uses 12 personal care products daily, containing over 160 unique chemicals, many of which haven't been fully tested for hormone disruption. And when it comes to alcohol, a 2022 CDC study found that women who drink even one drink per day increase their breast cancer risk by 7 to 10 percent. I know, it's not what anyone wants to hear, especially when a glass of wine feels like stress relief after a long day. But your liver can only do so much. It processes toxins, hormones, and alcohol. And if it's overwhelmed, estrogen builds up and your risk follows. Here's what I suggest. Switch to cleaner personal care products. Fragrance-free, paraben-free. Hydrate and move. Sweat is your body's detox system. If you drink, aim for alcohol-free days each week. Your liver and your hormones will thank you. So let's bring it all together. You now know that breast cancer isn't random. It's influenced by cellular damage, hormonal shifts, inflammation, and lifestyle. You also know that age isn't your enemy. It's your signal to get proactive. So here's what I want you to do next. One, take one small action this week, whether that's booking your mammogram, swapping out your skincare, or cutting back on sugar. Two, share this video with another woman over 40. Knowledge spreads faster than fear, and together we build awareness. Three, and don't forget, I've linked a powerful video in the pinned comment, the five early signs of breast cancer every woman should know. Watch that next, it could save your life. In my experience, women who stay curious, informed, and consistent aren't just survivors, they're thrivers. So let's stay informed, stay strong, and most importantly, stay connected. Until next time, take care of yourself because no one deserves your care more than you.